Okay, so we know that um, relational databases store tabular data, but the thing is that data can also be stored uh, either in a row oriented way or a column oriented way. And let's just talk about the differences there and why uh, we would do that. So the first case we have row store, the data is organized in rows. This is great for traditional relational databases, uh, which are row stores, uh, good for general purpose databases suited for online transaction processing, OLTP. We are gonna come back to that term later on. Great when needing all possible columns in a row, uh, which is important during a query, not the best at analytics analytics or massive amounts of data, all right? When we're looking at column store, data is organized into columns. It's faster at aggregating values for analytics. So the idea is imagine that you want to uh, count how many cities there are for millions of records. If it's organized by column, like querying based on column or data stored together as columns, a lot faster. Generally, these are NoSQL stores or SQL-like databases. It's a bit confusing because uh, you know, like you would think tabular data is just relational databases, but when you want to do column store, they're basically NoSQL stores. Uh, so that term's a bit fuzzy there. It's great for vast amounts of data. When we're talking about massive amounts, we're talking millions and millions of records, terabytes worth of data, okay? Suited for online analytical processing, OLTP. Great when you only need a few columns, so you don't need to uh, get data from all the columns. Uh, and there you go.